Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we'll discuss for another uh, tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Basically, now look at how to make images transparent or see-through, plus a very useful tip I found out how to basically for charts the same method here to make it transparent, but basically compare charts. Uh, I'll show it in a bit, but before I get to that, I just want to say I'm using Excel 2007. This is uh, this should be similar to Store, should be similar for other versions of Microsoft Excel. So right now, uh, before I get to this table here, let's just look at this image here. So if you want to make this transparent, all you do is go to uh, click format right here, go to recolor, set transparent color. So you could either pick the black, blue, etc. But those are really tiny. I don't want that. I want I want to get all the white colors off. So right now, as you, as you can see, all of the white becomes transparent and see through. It doesn't matter where you go, it's going to be see through. Okay, so I just uh, made this back to normal right here, just to illustrate why. Uh, I'll illustrate why I did this in a bit. Basically, right now I have I made a table right here, just a random x-axis up to nine, and uh, just a random y-axis is just a random sign function. You don't really need to know what it is, but I just want to compare. Now, basically, let's say I want to compare a chart of this to this image right here, because in my assignment uh, for school a while ago, and basically the image. Uh, we were given an image of a graph and I wanted to compare it with a chart. But we didn't know the function. This one you know the function, but in case you didn't know and you just want to straight up compare without Photoshop or anything, just, just to see where the numbers match up. So if I just copy this or just cut it, so let's just paste this inside here. This is the chart for that y axis, uh, x axis table. So now we just paste it, control V. So now we have this. So I want to compare this to the other one. As you can see, this goes from 0 to 10. So I'll make it from 0 to 10. This, and this one, this from 0 to 2, I have it like that. So I can just basically transpose this right on it. So first thing I want to do is uh, basically cut this. Let's go to or crop. So yeah, if I just crop this by clicking that crop one in the format tab, just make this smaller up to here. I'll actually cut off this, the, the title of that too. So we have this up to here. Also, let's just crop this as well up to the 10 or close to it. So now, uh, actually, we'll cut, cut the top part off too. So we just get up to here. So now, the way what you could do now is basically shift this here. I found this little uh, neat technique here. Shift this upwards. Actually, we need to crop this out a bit more. So crop. So let's just go. Uh, we'll, see, I just crop this all the way to the two. So now this this should be good. So now we just click this up to here. The two is up to there, and then scroll this down. Oh, it's a bit bigger. Because remember, it was different scale, so I just want to make it cl as close as I can to it. So this is uh, fairly close, and then we could just go now again, go to the recolor and set transparent color. So now there, there's this graph right here, and you could basically uh, fix around this, make it a bit uh, better matching on the axis. Okay, so yeah, basically just worked around this uh, quickly. So now basically, as you can see, this is uh, pretty much the axes are aligned, and now we could actually compare directly how this, this image was, or this graph of the image, with the chart we have right here, the, the table that we've... Uh, graph or the y-axis and as you can see it just looks like, like that so that's all I want to show this useful tip and how to compare charts with uh, images if you don't know the function uh, but this case we didn't, we knew this one but uh, in case you didn't know it'll be uh, really useful well that's all for today now uh, you could uh, actually download the this exact excel file in the dropbox link in the description below and yeah stay tuned for another math easy solution